Okay guys, everything is done outside. Um, we're gonna head inside and I'm gonna scrub them up real quick with a probably a piece. I have some really fine steel wool. I might use that just to you know get the nooks and crannies, get the stuff out, any uh, you know good parts of a wire wheel or sand anything. I just want to show you real quick. Here is the little one that we started with. It's nasty, kind of rusty. Everything off. Here's the medium one that I think was in worse shape. So we found a bunch of writing on it. Um, that's looking good. Got these weird little spots in all of them. I don't know what that's from. And here is the last one. This is a, and I didn't take the little bit of rust off the back of there. That's just surface rust. This is the one that is uh, probably, I don't know, three, four years old. I took that whole coating off of the inside. Um, check that out. Look at that. It is smooth. It is shiny. And this one's uh, going to get seasoned the way I'm going to do the other one. I'm going to clean all my stuff up. Look at my hands. Like I said, that's why you're wearing a dust mask. You don't want that stuff in your lungs. Um, I'm filthy dirty here. I left my flannel on. I want to cover up my big gut too. But I left my flannel on because um, it just it's a messy uh, operation. Depending on how bad your pans are. It's going to depend on how much gook and stuff you take. And like I said, the tools I use, um, probably under $50 for everything. And it's you're going to use them in your house anyways. Angle grinder and a drill, some sanding pads. Um, that round little sanding thing, that's not an oddball thing. Um, I'm going to clean this stuff up. I'm going to get these upstairs. I'm going to get these scrubbed up, heated up. I'm going to get some lard on there. I'll get the oven warming up. We're going to stick them in there. And uh, we're going to season them. So this is probably going to be part two because it's probably going to be a pretty long video. I don't really know. Depends on what I'm editing, how much of the crap that I cut out. But let me clean this up. We'll hop upstairs, which I never make videos in the house. This is probably one of the first ones I've made in the house. But we're going to do that and we're going to get them seasoned. And I'm going to show off my other pan that I did uh, a few weeks back. And it is it's a champ. Um, so let me get this cleaned up and we'll hop inside and I'll see you then. Hey guys, oh, for payment. Welcome to the kitchen. Welcome to the inside. I don't do a lot of videos. I don't think I've ever done a video inside my house. Sorry, I look so out of shape. Um, but I got everybody up here. I'm going to show you. This is the pan that I did a few weeks ago. This was the first one. And like Roseanne was saying, this is cast iron, but it's not super 100 pound heavy. But we've been using this daily, and I'll tell you what, it is. Amazing, but um, actually my daughter just cooked some eggs and stuff in it, cleaned it out, it's looking really, really good. When you're done, you just kind of get a paper towel, I heat it up, I wipe it out, get all the stuff out, I put a little bit of fat in there, and you do want to use animal fat, you want to use tallow, or you want to use lard. Don't use Crisco, don't use, okay, not the other thing. <laughs> all right, so, here's the small pans. Check them out. Looking super, super good. Boom. And here is the modern day one that I cleaned up. And I have my oven set at 350 degrees. And like I said, once they're in there, I'm gonna turn the oven off. I just let them cool down and do the cycle. I, I think I did it three times for that other pan. Let me get these guys washed up and I'll show you what we're gonna do. I just washed them, no soap. Um, soap is kind of the enemy here. You want to get the, the grease and the fat to get into the little grooves and just build up a coating. And if you use a uh, dishwashing liquid that is, you know, gets the grease out, <coughs> excuse me, you're going to keep taking them out. Also, if um, I used to do it too, to clean my pans out, I put salt in there and I rub salt around. Don't do that anymore. Once you do this method, once you get them looking like that, and once you start using them, um, a towel, a wet towel, a wet paper towel is all you're really going to need. So I'm going to get these on the burner and uh, with a little bit of lard in there. I'll show you what I'm doing. Uh, oven's heated up. So let's get on with it. So I'm get them on, on the flame. I'm going to dry them off a little bit. And um, 
Yeah, you can't see them though. Also, I'm gonna wipe a lot of this fat on the outside as well because I took that coating off. And I'm just using lard. You can get that at the store, you can get it at Walmart, you can get it any place like that. I'm gonna heat these fellers up. You are already seeing a little bit of, there's already a little bit of surface rust that'll get in there. Right there, already getting surface rust. So, uh, eliminate that right now. Get that melting in there a little bit. Remember, we're not trying to cook. <laughs> so, and I just got a paper towel. Heat them guys up. Get that lard. Like I said, I am going to do the outsides and bottom with these because, and the handle because we took all the stuff off. top one. I'm going to cancel it and we're just going to let it cool to room temperature. And then we got this guy. Like I said, this is a modern day one. You can already see it getting surface rusted that quickly. Um, it will rust. And that's what most of the coatings for. But that's why you're putting the fat on to stop the rust. Super quick, getting a little bit of rust on there. We've been canning a lot and the stove is beat up. Said a little bit of fat in there. Oh, and this one actually don't need as much because I'm not, and yes, I did wash my hands. I know they're still, they're a little stained from all that stuff. We're not doing anything at the outside on this one. And luckily, we have a two, two oven. Actually, these pans are so heaven, heaven, heavy, the modern ones. That is something that the older ones, and she even talks about, um, are not. They're a lot lighter. They're a little thinner. They're a little lighter. Heat this fell up. Oh, I can't believe how that rust is already sitting in so, so fast. Pan's nice and hot. inside of this pan so we're uh, we're looking good all right and we got that into the oven this one goes upside down oh, I see a little something something here just for the heck of it on the on the bottom of this bottle with a little bit of rust and off let them come down to room temperature and uh i'll tell you what 
<laughs> I'll bring you guys back when um, I've done a couple cycles and we'll check them out. Okay guys, um, a couple days later, I did three of the heat cycles. Where I put it on the stove, I heated them up and rubbed it down with some lard and I did the outside on the pans I just did because I took all the coating off the outside because it was so nasty. And then I had my ovens set at 350 degrees, put them in there upside down and then turn the ovens off and let them just cool down to room temperature. Did that three times. So here they are. This was the little one. It's in pretty nasty shape. Um, like I said, overuse, and I'm going to show you the one that I did a couple weeks ago that we've been using a lot of. It looks really nice. It came out great. This was that really big, nasty one. It has all the writing on it. Um, I did try to date it. Apparently Wagner 1891 was the year they started and to date the pan itself is kind of hard. Uh, I'm hoping this is one that was made between like 29 and 59 or something like that because they were bought out in 59. There's a whole story you can look up. Um, this is the modern pan that I did. I resurfaced the inside and I think that turned out really good. And this is the pan I did a couple weeks ago. Now this cast iron is not as heavy as those two, but it was pretty nasty. Um, you can look at my Instagram once again. I have some posts about it. But see how it's starting to darken? It's starting to get a little bit of that patina to it because we've been using this daily. This just kind of lives on our stove and it's, it's really working out well. We're all, me and my wife are really happy with everything. But once again, um, oh, excuse me. Thank you to Ruth Ann uh, Zimmerman. I almost said Ruth Ann Miller. He was a character on Northern Exposure. Ruth Ann Zimmerman, thanks for that video, her and her husband. And I have, I think I counted five more cast iron skillets that I have. And one of them is probably 25 years old, uh, when we got married. Um, I'm going to redo the inside of that because it's a great, great pan. And the other ones were a Walmart buy that we bought for r and but I'm going to redo the insides of those and see how those go. Plus, I'm saving stuff for like my kids, for my daughter when she gets married. Um, my son's cast iron. I already told him that I'm going to I'll redo that for him. But I just want to show you um, the end product. And it's not really hard to do. It just takes a couple items. It takes some time to get a dust mask. It's kind of nasty. But uh, I've never really done a video like this ever. And plus, I'm in my house. But... That's what I have. I want to edit this video and get it out. And like I said, shoot me some comments down below if you've done this before, if you want to do it. I'll leave a link to Ruth Ann Zimmerman's channel, Home Setting with the Zimmermans, and her Instagram. And you guys can check out those videos that I watched to inspire me to do this. And I think that's about it. But I'm pretty excited. I love how they turned out. And I know it. 